Hey, what's up guys? Casey Ferris. It has been way too long since uh, I've put out a video. I gotta say, I've missed you guys. Missed you. Just missed you. Anyhow, today I want to take a look at Resolve 14. This is the public beta. So if you're looking at this in the future, it could be a little bit different um, in the final version, but I wanted to, I've been I, probably like many of you nerding out about all the things at NAB and uh, especially the new Resolve features. So I wanted to take a look, just kind of, you know, take a little, uh, take a little tour and uh, see, see what some fun new features are. I'll certainly be doing a, uh, a big crash course video, much like my other ones very soon. But for now, Let's, let's take a look at some of the nice goodness. First of all, media page, not a whole lot different here. One thing that I know is different is that you can drag stuff right into the edit pool nowadays. So something nice is I can right click and add a bin and I'll call this GoPro. And I can bring up my browser and just drag things into a bin. Like that's pretty sweet. Tell you what, I think you can also, yeah, you can make this into a new window. So that's really cool. It's a bunch of little things like that that really make a program more usable, make it faster to use, all of that goodness. So I can double click clips, open them up in the preview window. Let's say I like that. And much like Premiere now, if I hover over this, I can drag both the audio and the video, just the video or just the audio. That's super useful. Another little thing I'm excited about. Another thing that's kind of a big deal is uh, the new playback engine in Resolve. It's actually pretty good. Actually pretty good. If you've used any of the previous versions of Resolve, you'll know that the main drawback is it just didn't play things back super well, especially highly compressed formats like H.264, things from uh, DJI, things from GoPro. But um, this is 4K DJI footage and it plays pretty darn well pretty darn well. Um, it's still, I would say not quite to the level of Premiere because Premiere I believe is made by real witches. Um, and that's the only way they can play stuff back. See, I've hit play, takes a little bit to ramp up, having a little bit of trouble, but now it plays back fine. So it's definitely not like all the way there for compressed footage. You, you might still want to uh, do the disc cache, but less compressed footage plays back very nicely. And there's definitely a noticeable difference on uh, the playback and the speed of editing here in the edit page. Over on the color tab, it doesn't seem like there's a ton of new stuff. I know that there's like a lot of little tweaks that I'll probably discover more about later. But one thing that is really nice is uh, these resolve effects. I don't know if you guys know about these, but they are effects that are completely free. They're included with resolve, uh, both the full version and the light version. And there are a ton of them and they're really nice. Uh, there's an advanced sharpening filter. There's a bunch of stylized filters. Here's one that I really like is camera shake. And this is like a, a whole host of um, controls that you can add to your clip to add realistic camera shake. And I gotta say like, it's, it's pretty rad. It's about as awesome as you could ask for. They even have a motion blur component. I mean, I'm playing this back in real time and kind of adding motion blur to this. It's pretty amazing. So that's definitely really impressive. There's also an effect called color compressor, which seems like more of an advanced version of a tint. So you pick a target color and you have three sliders for hue, saturation, and luminance. The higher you go on the slider, the more the image looks like the target color. So if I pick kind of this cyan and pump up my saturation slider, every single thing is gonna be as saturated as this cyan. And so you can get some really interesting effects with that. Here's something else that's pretty amazing is the new face refinement effect. Drop this on a clip and hit analyze and it finds the face in say an interview, finds all the features on the face and it masks the skin tones in the face and it also gives you some easy tools to adjust some parameters of the face. So check this out. If I take down show overlay and show mask, that's what it's affecting. So it's tracked his face already, masked out some of his features and you can actually go and adjust it a little bit. And now I can do things like smooth out his skin without affecting the rest of the image and do some pretty advanced stuff without having to track it myself, without having to go and make several masks. You can even do stuff like just use this one slider and remove bags under people's eyes. 
because it's freaking magic world. Sharpen his eyes a little bit. And obviously this probably won't work for every shot, but it's pretty amazing the things you can do without barely any work using this face refinement tool. And all of these effects can be stacked and added within your node structures. And you can combine them with all of the normal tools. Pretty freaking amazing. So even though like the bulk of the color page isn't really updated that much, the resolve effects, man, those are what I'm talking about. Oh, also they added this little thing. Um, it's an entire freaking audio suite. So this is Fairlight, but inside of Resolve. And um, it's pretty amazing. So each track has its own EQ built in already. You don't have to use external plugins or anything. It also has a bunch of dynamics filters, which if you've seen any of my past tutorials, I've like loaded stuff like that with VST plugins. It's super helpful to have these two tools and they're already built in. I'm not gonna get tons into this because I mean, it's pretty much just a huge audio suite uh, with, with lots to learn. If you guys are interested in that, let me know and I can kind of dig in a little more with that. But really the two things that I think were lacking in Resolve before this release were the fact that it wouldn't play back certain types of footage very smoothly and that its audio tools were pretty limited, but they've certainly improved the playback. It's certainly not to the level of Premiere yet, but it's still very, very usable. The color grading is obviously amazing and the Fairlight audio just gives you pretty much every tool you would need to make a video from start to finish all within Resolve. So this is really exciting because DaVinci Resolve is free. And if you want the paid version, now it's only $300 instead of $1,000. And probably 99% of people aren't going to need the paid version because you can do just about everything you want with the free version. So I'm really excited about uh, what Blackmagic's doing with DaVinci Resolve. So there you go, there's my overview, new features thing of Resolve 14. It's pretty dang exciting, huh? If you like this video, hit like. If you want more videos on DaVinci Resolve and color grading and post-production in general, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you on the flip side.